I'm reading about the uh, the second death, the first resurrection, and the second sorry, the first resurrection from Revelation starts when Christ is resurrected. It starts a clock, and then everyone gets resurrected in their own turn. So it's an ordering system. Once Christ is resurrected, you either participate in the first resurrection and you live forever. The second, there's two deaths when you physically die and then after you die, then if you're not found in the book of life, then you die a second death, which is where you spend eternity burning in the lake of fire. That's permanent. Hell is discussed in other books prior to Revelation, but because Revelation is the final solution, you know, Jesus is only direct testimony where he looks at John and says, write this down. Everything else was people reporting what he said, like, you know, hearsay, I guess, or maybe like third party reporting. But in Revelation, Jesus turns to John and says, write this down. I certify this. These, ev the, these events will happen. So when he is resurrected, that triggers the first resurrection. Blessed is he who taketh part in the first resurrection, meaning you either take part in it and the second death has no, you know, no power over you, meaning you live forever, don't have to worry about anything, or you don't take part in the first resurrection and you die a second death where you're cast into the lake of fire burning with brimstone. You burn in the lake of fire forever. And you have to overcome in order to participate in the first resurrection. Chapters two and three describe, you know, best practices to be perfect in the eyes of God. You have to repent publicly. <laughs> you have to admit, see, later in Revelation it says like, those who don't, are like liars, idolaters, practices of sorcery. All liars. <laughs> so if you don't go public, once Jesus is resurrected, if you don't go public with everything you've ever done wrong to wash yourself clean, then you don't take part in the first resurrection and you're cast into the lake of fire after you die. Wow. That's fucked up. But if you take part in the first resurrection, it's all good. But you actually have to resurrect someone from the past. And since Jesus' is first fruit, when he was perfect in the eyes of God. That means who resurrects him is perfect, was acting perfectly during that time. And no one is as perfect as Jesus. So if you are less than that, I guess it becomes easier to resurrect Like if you're, you know, let's say there's someone found in the book of life, like who's already died and you're going to resurrect them, but they're not Jesus. They're like, you know, fucking whatever, whoever it may be from the past. Someone who's like, nah, they, they're kind of a mid tier badass. Well, all you have to do is be a mid tier badass. Is that how it would work? I guess whoever resurrects Christ has the word of God, so you would just say how it works, as long as it doesn't conflict 
with revelation. And since it doesn't say it, it's a ranking system. No one's fucking, no one resurrects Christ except the lion of the tribe of Judah, the man child caught up to God. And then everyone else is easier to resurrect. And of course, all you're going to be doing is following the template that the lion lays out, you know, public confession, uh, you know, charity, your works follow you, record everything. You're writing your own book, your story. So like, you can do that more perfect, you can do that very well because you already know the formula. Christ has just resurrected his first fruits. Man, that sucks. So the fact that and when, when, you, when you resurrect someone, that means you see God's face. And you either are going to see the face of God and participate in the first resurrection, or I think it's in Revelation 9 where it's like, fall on us, hide us from the face of God and the wrath of the Lamb, which means the people who don't want to participate in the first resurrection are hiding themselves from God's face, the mechanism at which one is resurrected. And they're subject to the, to the wrath of the Lamb. Wow. You're either going full tilt. Eh. You're, e okay. Because this has been triggered starting last March 13th, 2018 at 10.57 a.m. Central Time. And was caught on camera and could be substantiated with court records, video footage, all that stuff. It's already started. So you either, if you believe in God, you begin your process to resurrect someone found in the book of life who's already died and see the face of God. And you will live forever. The second death has no power over you. Or you don't. And you're going to fucking burn forever in the lake of fire. Whoa. <laughs> That's crazy. Maybe I should write that down in the book. <laughs>